what is the primary difference between EX and EC as per your understanding? What do you think? Anyone? Okay. So let's go ahead with this. This is one of the critical thing that we need to understand. So remember one thing, guys. Always, always, EX is the one which we can use for approval, right? The EX is the domain which records the subject exposure to the protocol specified study treatment. I mean to say, always, EX is the one which you use it for your analysis. This is the important one. But having said that, in the implementation guide 3.2, this is the this is the time where CDIS has introduced this domain called EC. You can call it as exposure as collected. Okay. But the moment you go to the blinded studies, right, that is where if you want to precisely derive your EX data, you also need EC domain, right? So we will go with some of the examples first so that you can easily capture this particular one, okay? So I'll go with a one simple example. Let us say I have a placebo controlled trial. All I have here is a placebo controlled one. So what is my trial? My trial is placebo controlled. What do you mean by placebo controlled, guys, anyone? Before I type this, what do you mean by placebo controlled trial? Team? Yeah, one will be our actual drug which we are testing, I mean, which research is going on, and other will be placebo will be given to the subject. All right. So, can I simply say that a placebo controlled trial is the one where, right? So you are going to have a placebo, which is nothing but a fake pill, or it is going to be a saline water, I can call it as a, with, which doesn't have any of the clinical drug. It is a simple fake pill. It's a sugar pill, correct? The patient is not know about whether he is getting the actual study drug or he's getting the placebo. Can I say that is what your placebo control trial is? You get randomized. Once you get randomized, if you are in a control group, you are going to receive a placebo. If you are in an intervention group, you are going to receive the original intervention, which is nothing but your study treatment. Am I correct? Right? So now look at this particular one. Look at this particular one. So I have, I can say that uh, there are two subjects. I'm just going with two different subjects now. So here I have the subject. I can say subject ID followed by how the treatment as well as the dosage as well as the dosage units all of them are available here the subject is triple one this guy i mentioned in the you know because it's a blinded study right when it's a blinded study neither the investigator nor the patient doesn't know about what is the treatment that he's going to get the only thing that we know here is the patient is receiving either of the treatment or the placebo am i correct that's a, that, that is the only thing, right? Irrespective of whatever the group you are, because you don't know which group you are in, into also, correct or not, you will get only the labels. Randomization numbers you are going to get. But what is a randomized number also will not be known to you. It will be known only to your statistician because he's the one who is going to do that particular one, correct? So simply the dosage units, I just mentioned it as 150. Here also 150. The units are going to be mg. Yeah. Now the question to all of you is, will the subject triple one or the subject triple two, do they aware whether they're receiving the treatment or a placebo? Will they know that? No, they will not know. Definitely they will not know about that particular one, right? They know that there is going to be a exposure term, right? The treatment, you can call it as a Suppose if I'm going ahead with, now I'm going to add here. Suppose if it is going to be EC, exposure as collected, if this is the domain, then in this domain, 
in this domain. The subject ID remains going to be the subject ID. The treatment, I can call it as a ECDRT. The dosage can be called it as EC dose and the dosage unit can be called it as ESDOS units. Is that correct? Yesterday we did, we talked about the concomitant, right? So now you can easily relate both of them, right? Am I correct? All of you accept this? Right? Yes. Now, when I say EC treatment, right? Is it a treatment or is it a placebo? Do we know that? No. No. Correct. Suppose if I want to submit this particular one to the FDA, whether the triple one is the guy, have you received a placebo or have you received a treatment? Why it is different? If it is a placebo, the drug, the drug portion, the chemical portion of that particular drug is going to be zero. Am I correct? If it is a treatment, it's a treatment pill, it is going to be 150 mg. If it is going to be a placebo, placebo is a fake pill, right? It's a sugar pill, it doesn't have any chemical composition. It's supposed to be zero. Am I correct? So in this particular case, how do I know that who got the treatment, who got the placebo? Because it's a blinded study, I'm collecting the data as is. When I'm collecting the data as is, I don't know whether the subject triple one is belongs to the treatment or the subject tri uh, triple two belongs to the placebo or a treatment. We don't know. This is the data we have collected. We submit this particular data. So who is going to convert this particular data now? I cannot submit this data as it is, right? This data is not correct. Am I correct or not? So who is going to help us? Now I am going to derive my EX domain from this exposure as collected domain, and I'm going to convert them like this. See this? The remaining all going to be the same. That's the reason I have given the generic names also. The subject ID is remain same, treatment, dose, dosage units. But only thing is, I need to convert this systematically. I need to convert this, correct? I need to give a true picture of this particular one. All right. So let's say being a statistician, I know that, I know that triple one is belongs to the treatment. He received the original treatment. So it's a 150 mg, dosage is mg only. This guy, he is not into the intervention group. He actually belongs to the control group. This guy got received the placebo, it is going to be zero. Now, do you understand the difference between the EX and EC domains? EC is as collected, as is you collected as part of your trial. EX is the original, the actual, you know, the drug or the actual drug details, actual intervention received by the subject, correct? Now, this is true. Both of them are correct only. Since this guy, you, the, the triple one got the pill, triple two also got the pill. The pill that is that administered to triple, triple one is a 150 mg pill that is a study drug. The pill which got administered to the triple two is a fake pill. It looks alike, it, it exactly looks like your study drug, but it is a fake pill, it is a simple sugar pill. So the chemical composition is going to be zero. Now, do you understand? Yes. EX, yeah, EX domain is always derived. Remember this particular one. I'll write it here, right? So EX domain is always a derived domain. Maybe always is not the right word. I can say that EX domain is derived. In the EX domain, in the EX domain, again, EX treatment should be specified correctly and the dose should be recalculated. Is that correct? All of you are correct or not? Right? Now, and this is one use case. The same use case I can also extend. For an example, see this. Again, EC domain, I have taken it. Let's say this one is going to be a double dummy trial. Can someone tell me what is this double dummy trial by any chance? We discussed this, guys. Anyone, what is called double dummy trial? Team? 
I would need some answers. Okay. Double dummy. Both the drugs are not related to treatment. Both no, 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 no. Double no. blinded is different. Double dummy. Dummy is different. If you remember when, when I'm going ahead with our, you know, initial details, that is clinical trials, what happens here and all, when I go ahead with this particular one. So here we have discussed, that is, whereas where we discuss about controlled, blinded, double blinded, randomized, parallel here, while giving the explanation, while giving the documents, I just mentioned one thing. Hey, the clinical trials can be, I'm introducing a new drug. So this new drug, I'm going to use one dummy placebo. I'm also going to do one more thing. That is, I already have one drug exist in the market. I want to introduce a new drug and I want to compare this particular drug against with the drug that is already available in the market. Correct? So two different drugs I'm going to test here. Correct or not? Against the placebo. For that, I have also given you one of the example. What is the example I have given? The main project that we are going to do is fall under the same case. I told you that the main project is the one where we are going to have two different drugs, lefamulin, moxifloxian. You remember that or not? Are you getting any, uh, just at least uh, slightly the remembrance of what we are talking about? Can you see? Double dummy study. Is that right or not? It is double blinded as well as double dummy. Why double dummy? Because I'm comparing two different drugs here, not one. I'm comparing two different drugs. So what are the two different drugs that I'm, I'm actually doing? You can see. Oral leformulin versus oral moxifluxian. These two are the two different drugs I'm just testing against the viruses. Correct? Do you remember showing this particular uh, protocol or not, guys, everyone? Are you getting the remembrance of it or still everything gone? Yes, I remember. <laughs> All right, no problem. A double dummy is the one where I'm comparing two different drugs against a placebo. Still, it is a placebo controlled one, but I'm comparing two different drugs. So that's the reason I call that particular one as a double dummy. So what is going to happen here? I'm going to have treatment A or treatment B or placebo. That is, the subject never know whether he is, is getting treatment A or he is getting treatment B or he is getting placebo. The subject never know. That is the overall intention. Correct? Let's say a treatment A is going to be so for everything, I simply say that I don't even say what is going to be the dosage units also. I'll say one, one, one. I don't even say the units in the MG. I'll simply say that capsule, 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 and capsule. So what is the meaning? All the three groups, treatment A, treatment B, as well as placebo group, all the three groups, simply every day with a respective frequency, they are just simply getting one tablet they are swallowing it. All right. The tablet can be of a 100 mg1, can be of a 200 mg1, can be of a placebo. Am I correct or not? Right. Maybe a simple example you can say. I want to test agonist Dolo 650 mg with another paracetamol, maybe some other paracetamol. I can take any paracetamol for the matter of the fact. My drug A is Dolo 650 mg. Can someone tell me any other paracetamol, guys, by any chance? Do you know any paracetamol name? Paracetamol. Oh, wonderful. Right. Crocin. What is the crocin? Uh, uh, this one I can say 500 mg. That is for the adults. Correct? R plus. It. That's it. I'm comparing crocin 500 mg with Dolo 650 mg. Or I'm giving another intervention group as a, another control group as a placebo. This is what I'm trying to do now. So what are going to be my, uh, what I can say that, uh, dosage units now? So now I'm just going with the second one. That is, this is for EC. Now I'm going with EX. Can someone tell me how it is going to be changed? 
so the treatment aspect will be changed whether he is exactly. receiving dolo 650 it is dolo it is going to be crocin it is going to be placid correct now dosage units 650 500 0 all the units are going to be mg 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 is that correct guys can you differentiate ec and ex can i have a quick confirmation from everyone is this understandable or not first of all yes, yes if this uh, is derived ex is derived then it has it is not collected in the crf it will be collected but not the, all the aspects not all the aspects see i'm i can use the same crf for both ex and ec maybe i can show you here so this is going to be my crf right i'll show you this so now on the left hand side i have all the details right let me go to the ec that is your uh, uh, what i can call it as your uh, track just a sec Look at this particular one. Lafamulin R placebo. What page it is? One. Study drug administration. It is going to be a unique form. It is page number 153. There's supposed to be the name. You can see all these are going with the EX domain. Under the study drug administration form, it is. Correct? It's a study drug administration form. It is given, the details are given here. But you can see, there is a drug, drug administration separately given for moxifloxian and the drug administration separately given for the lefamulin. Can you see this? This is the page for the lefamulin. This is the page for the moxifloxian. Two different pages I have given because both the details are going to be different. For both of them, the dosage is also going to be different. The frequency also going to be different. So here I'm giving these details separately. Correct. I'm going to pick the details from here and I'm going to store it into my respective domains. That is respective raw data sets. Have I answered your question now? Yes, well. Wonderful. Okay, now we can come back to this particular one again. Now I can so see... One question, sir, before mm -hmm. proceeding. Mm -hmm. So this only happens in the uh, blinded study, right? Exactly. Like exposure collected and exposure. So if it is unblinded, then everything is same like we don't have I don't exposure find collected difference. exposure is the same right yes in that particular case i don't need to go with ec directly i can call it as ex i don't need to derive anything correct because it is completely unblinded everyone knows what is the treatment is everyone know what is the dosage is and what are the units are i don't need to derive anything so that's the reason i started that that's the reason i have mentioned that right only for, for unblinded study, there is no difference between EC and EX. Only when it comes to the blinded, then the exposure as collected is different from exposure because they never know what is the treatment that they have received. So in such cases, I need to do this. Otherwise, what will happen? For triple two also, we, will, we don't know whether it is a 150 or not. Actually, for triple two, we have given only zero. Here for triple two, we are given only 500 and the, do, and the drug is going to be the crossing. To differentiate it, to calculate the end parameters of your safety and efficacy, you need to actually know the, what is the actual study drug that, that they are mentioned in the protocol. That is the reason we are deriving it. Make sense? Anuraga. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is the only thing which will go to the submission. But some uh, some studies, or I can say not some studies, I can say that approvers or the reviewers of the FDA reviewers generally expect if it is going to be a double dummy, if it is going to be a uh, blinded, any blinded, it can be single blinded, double blinded, triple blinded, whatever it is going to be. They request both EX and EC domains. Though EX is the deciding factor, EX is the only deciding factor, right? But still, for the better understanding, they will also ask you to submit the details of EC. So in general, both we are going to submit, but the, for the decision will be taken based on the EL's domain. Make sense now? 
all right and it is not over yet it is not over yet this is as long as if it is going to be a straight forward or as long as i know that what is what i can directly tell this because i know there are only two groups and i can directly tell this particular one there is something else as well there is something else as well let me help you with what is that and how i can use that particular one okay so for an example guys this is another it is a slightly different story that i'm going to put it up now okay so i'm going to take this as it is but i'll just extend a little now so i have a ec i have a subject id and i'm going to have the details about your uh, what is the treatment what is the dose all these the basic details again i have it but this time understand that uh, maybe i can also write some context here so the treatment here is going to be every subject right every subject supposed to have a two injections in a day that is uh, two injections per month what is that subjects are to receive monthly injection of it can be of 50 mg it can be of 100 mg or it can be of yeah uh, what is a placebo by default the treatment is provided in a 1 ml pre filled syringe what is that 1 ml pre filled syringe is the one that they are going to get it right so and again maybe i can uh, how i can say it maybe i'll write it it is easy treatment given in 1 ml pre defined syringe so that is the first thing every subject will get every subject is going to get i can say mm, how exactly i can put mm. treatment i can say that treatment is administered treatment is administered using two syringes what do you mean by this and again it is going to be a a clear um double blinded study so the first thing is going to be it is a double blinded study so neither the subject nor the investigator are aware of what is the syringe consists of so treatment is given in 1 ml pre defined syringes treatment is administered in two syringes that is another one and one more thing that i want to i, I want to do here is that syringe can consists of right syringe can be a 50 ml that is 50 mg or it can be of the 100 mg or it can be a placebo what that 1 ml of the pre defined syringe consists of is it consists of a 50 mg mg of the chemical composition or 100 mg of the chemical composition or a placebo is that correct placebo is simply a saline water is this understandable what is the treatment is first of all everyone right and again treatment is administered using two syringes and with a monthly frequency in a simple way if i want to understand this all i'm going to receive is the subject every subject monthly once is going to receive one syringe one injection that injection sorry two injections actually two injections the two injections are pre filled with 1 ml of the content that 1 ml can consists of 50 mg or it can be 100 mg or it can be of even the placebo is this understandable guys everyone is this understandable first of all can i have a quick confirmation what is the data so can i help you now how this ex and ec will be helpful right for that i'll go little more detail here for an example i have a triple one the same subject i'm taking it so the treatment is going to be like syringe one because it's a blinded right so syringe one 
right? And I'm I'm calling this particular one EC dose as one because I just want to I don't want to say anything. The units are going to be ml. That is nothing but one ml of the injection. That's it, right? So here because I'm just extending this particular one, I call this particular one as ESDOS FRM. What exactly it is, guys? What is ESDOS FRM? Dose dose form. Dose form. Exactly. It is going to be a dose form. Uh, what is the dose form here? Injection, right? Injection. Synergy means injection only, right? I'm going to use the injection. Okay. Uh, what is the frequency? I also want to add the frequency. So frequency, I can call that as EC DOS FRQ. Because yesterday only we did the concatenation. That with that particular assumption, I'm just taking my advantage and I'm just going ahead with. I said it is a monthly ones. How you write it? Monthly ones. How do you write it? QM. Remember this. QM. Yesterday I have shown you the code list, right? Right. So you remember I mentioned Q12H for every 12 hours. Q4H for every four hours. QM every month. It is every month. Okay. Now, so here I'm just starting with EC STDTC. What is this? Exposure. Treatment start and treatment end. Am I correct or not? Correct or not? That is exposure started and ended. Exposure start, exposure end. Uh, can you tell me uh, what is going to be this exposure start and end here? How many days, guys, by any chance? For how many days? Question is understandable. I'm asking you. The if... st whole study period, sir. The whole study period. St oh. From treatment. From treatment. Uh, no, 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 no. That is the reason I have asked this. That is the reason I have asked this. Okay. The guy has come for the injection. How many days they is going to have this injection? One day, one time. One day, one time. Correct or not? It's a date and time, right? So let's say today, 29th March. Uh, sorry, I supposed to write it in a proper format. The format is going to be for both of them. Guys, this difference is important. That is the reason I'm taking my time to explain this. 2023. One month. Uh, one month. Sir. How one month you are going to have the injection? Uh, sir, you said for uh, two injections in a month. Correct. I came now. I just oh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the I'm taking the syringe one. I'm taking the syringe one today, right now. Can I say that the injection started by 2023, March 29th? The time is going to be 2104. That is the time. Just now it started 2104. Is the time it got started. So how long the injection they are going to inject to you? Like one minute. The time will be ended. It will be like difference of In, one minute. Within the minute, not more than that. Am I correct or not? Injection will not go for more than one minute also. 60 seconds is also very, very long time. Correct? So by the time they inject it, they are going to just inject it. They are going to take it out. Hardly they're going to take 30 seconds. The total duration is going to be 30 seconds. Is that correct or not? Everyone. So this easy start date is when your exposure got started, when your exposure got ended for this treatment of syringe one. That is the reason I'm not taking 15 days. That is the reason I'm not taking month, 30 days. See, 30 days, every injection I'm taking for 30 days means my first visit that let's say my treatment day zero is today. My next day one that is next month, the next visit is going to be the next month. Right. When I came for the visit, the syringe one, they started by 2104 and they also ended by 2104. They, it was just, they just made a prick, injector, take off the syringe, done. Is that understandable or not? Guys, is that understandable or not? Everyone. Yes, sir. Right. I'm specific to the syringe one, guys. Remember that the syringe one I'm talking about. Okay. Now, EC, ST, DY. I'm going little detail on this. EC, EN, DY. 
Ah, what is this? This one exposure start study day. Study day start. I can call it as study day start. Study day end. How do you calculate this, guys? With respect to RFSTD. RFSTD. Correct. Let us say on day one, I have did it. That is for the first time. We planned on 29th of this month, or maybe I can take last month, I can take 28th of last month. This is also 28th of last month. February 28th, we have taken it. The planned study date also going to be the same. RFSTDT is also going to be the same. Can I say my ES start day, my ES end day is going to be one. Is that correct? Yes. Every one of you are with me so far, guys. If any of you are confused, ask me. I will explain. Don't worry. Now, I'm going with the syringe too. Again, 1 ml, right? On the same day, I have taken this particular one because syringe 2 also going to be on the same day, right? Because I told you on the same day, we have received 2. But let's say there is a gap of 5 minutes. 2110, I have taken this. After 5 minutes, I have taken the second one. But again, it is going to be the same. So up to this, all of you are able to follow this. Up to this, all of you are able to follow this. Now, then the same guy, the same guy has come for the next visit. I'm taking it a single subject and I'm explaining this. This guy has come for next visit. Here, I want to add one more. I'm just calling it as EC. O C C U R. What is this, guys? Occurrence, ECF, exposure. Occurrence, correct? Whether the subject has taken the injection or not. He have taken it here, he have taken it here. Again, next month he have come, he have taken this particular one. He exactly come after a month, 0328, morning 10 a.m. he has come. So the exposure started by morning 10 a.m. So that is nothing but 30 at the day. Am I correct? After 30 days, he has come. Now, for some reason, for some reason, this is not happened. Exposure is not happened. When the exposure is not happened, will I get the dosage? No. Is that correct? Is that correct? Syringe 2, I supposed to take it. This is the treatment. But the dosage is zero. ML is not mentioned. The reason for that particular one is the injection he has not taken. He's supposed to take this particular one, but he has not taken this. The reason is on this day, there is an adverse event happened. So there is an adverse event happened on the 30th day, right after taking the first injection. So he have taken the first injection. He's supposed to take the next injection by that particular time. But unfortunately, he has not taken that particular one. Is that okay? He have not taken this. So that is the reason I don't have a timestamp. He, he, he visited on that day, but he has not taken this. Is that okay, all of you? Up to this, the scenario, the, the current scenario, all of you are able to follow it. All I have done here is every subject is supposed to take two injections every month. That injection can be of any dosage, 50 mg, 100 mg or placebo. I'm taking only one subject. He have come for two different occurrences. When he come for the first occurrence, he have taken both the injections. When he come for the second occurrence, that is second visit after 30 days, because it's a monthly one, when he came, he have taken the first dosage. For the second dosage, he have not taken. ECOCCUR equal to N because subject have not taken what is that? syringe 2 or have not taken ECTRT due to adverse event. So, so then ES, 
EC, hmm. ST, DTC, and EC, and DTC should be blank, right, sir? Like he has not taken. There's no start date or end date. Why do we have to take the reference so he, of the first to this thing? Right. He have visited it. He have not taken it. Oh, the thing is, he have visited. He is there on that day. He have not taken it. Maybe I can also put these blanks also. Not an issue. I just keep this value as it is. All right. Ideally speaking, I can also take this. I can also take them off. Okay, if it is confusing, I can take that off because he have not taken that. Fine. That is absolutely fine. He have not taken it. So obviously there is no ECTXT or there is, sorry, there is no start date and end date. There is no study start. There is no study end. Fine. But EC domain, what we have collected is clear to every one of you. Now, what we should go under EX is my interest. Can I start with this now? Everyone, can I start with this? Any questions, ask me, guys. This looks a little tedious, but you will feel fruitful after we complete this now. After we complete this now. Okay. So let's go with this. Remember, for each treatment, there is going to be one record. What is that? For each treatment, there is going to be one record in the EX domain. Okay. That is, how many injections you have taken? Two injections you have taken. Let's say each injection is 50 mg. In that particular case, in that particular case, first of all, the EX treatment, you can see here, right? Let us say for all of this, the, the, the name of the drug, the treatment, the syringe, the, the injection that we have given is same. Let's say it is going to be IPXX. This is the drug. Can I say that only the dosage is different, but the concomitant, the, the medication, the concentration, everything is same, right? Can I say that my treatment name is displaying here as IPXX? Is that correct? Is that correct? Now, guys, syringe one, that's the reason I have mentioned. Treatment is given in one ml predefined syringes. Treatment is administered only using two syringes with a monthly frequency. Meaning, meaning, if I want to give 100 mg, what I will do is, 50 mg, 50 mg, two syringes filled with 50 mg, 50 mg of the medicine, I will give. What is the total mg here? 100 mg, done. If it is a placebo, both the syringes are filled with zero and zero. That is nothing but a fake, just a saline water. So what is going to happen? I'm going to get only zero mg. I want to administer 100 mg of the drug. For that, I'm maintaining two syringes, each syringe filled with the 1 ml. That 1 ml can comprise, consists of 50 mg of the injection or it can be 0 mg of the placebo. Is that understandable, guys, all of you? Can I, can I have a quick confirmation? The person who is in an intervention group, the person who is in an intervention group, he's supposed to get 100 mg. The person is in a control group. He's supposed to get zero mg. That is what the meaning is. Now, all of you are getting this or not. Ask me if you have a question, guys. This is your drug dosage. So syringe 1, 50 mg, syringe 1, syringe 2, 50 mg. So I have given two drugs, two syringes to him. Two times I have injected. So this guy, when he visited for the day one, what is the total mg that he have received? 100 mg. Now you can come here. So the dosage here is going to be for the subject one. I told you here, each subject is going to have only one record. Only one record. The meaning is the total dosage value I'm going to have it. So the total dosage he received on the day one is 100. The units are going to be mg. Injection remains going to be injection. Occurrence, still it is there. All right. Then next, 
exposure start date is there the exposure end date is also there everything is as usual but when i look at it subject triple one when he visited for the first time he have got the dosage of 100 mg is that correct or not but the same guy when he came for the 30th day when he came for the 30th day he have got the drug by this particular time one syringe only he have got this right and what is that syringe total dosage 50 mg only why he have not received placebo he actually received two syringes because he is part of the intervention group because the previous example if you see every time i have explained treatment versus placebo that is the reason i have taken a different example here in this different example i'm talking about what if the guy is present in the same group the same interventions group only but what happened if he got some adverse event because of that if you haven't taken the drug what will happen now you can take he have taken only the 50 mg of the data he have got only the actual dosage that he have received on the day 30 is only 50 mg this details this details is present in the ex domain but why 50 why not 100 that details will be present in your rel rec domain there is another domain called rel rec that is going to draw the relation between ex and ec that will tell you what is the difference hey there is an adverse event happened in the second event when the guy has come for the 30th day there is an adverse event happened because of that particular reason he have not taken the second drug that details will be available here guys making sense or not or is it a too much information are you able to get it yes sir right i can leave it i can simply say that hey exposure as collected is for blinded exposure is for the you know uh, the derived data one step is done but you should know the difference where exactly if i'm comparing with the treatment versus placebo how it looks like if i'm going with the double blinded where i'm comparing with the two different treatments and if i'm doing it how it will be suppose if i'm using only the one treatment right if i'm going with only the guy is still in the same interventions group but still is my ex and is it still helpful yes still helpful this is the case because he got the adverse event here because of the adverse event the exposure has not happened sorry the uh, the drug has not taken so the total dosage for him is different here why it is different i can again check the rel record of mine and i can get the details is that understandable to every one of you Yes or no? Perfect. So now you have the clarity about what is EX and what is EC, every one of you. Can I have a quick confirmation? Yes or no? You still require some more understanding? Let me know. I'm happy to answer. I can share this particular one. You can again have a look. You can listen to the recording. So it will it still give you a little more uh, clarity. And tomorrow, we will go ahead with, a, you know, straight forward all the variables. So variable, def variable definitions, all I can do is, you know, right? Simply, I can copy the data from concomitant medication. Whatever is required, we can go one after the other. All right. Exposure. Exposure has collected both of them. We can complete by tomorrow. As, as we discussed, tomorrow we will complete it. Day after tomorrow, we are going to take the concomitant medication coding part. So this week, we will be completing interventions. So up to this will be done. Then we can enter into the findings by next week. All the findings can be done by next week. Okay. Understandable. All of you are comfortable. Can I have a quick confirmation? Any questions you want to ask? Wonderful. All right. So that's all for today. I will save this and I'll upload the recordings. So have a, just listen to that one more time. If you need questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Today, second half, none of you ask much of the questions. Is it because you understand this completely or is it because you haven't followed anything? I don't know, but still. Sure. Yes. Yeah. On um, small note. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, it is injections. I mean, syringes. Hmm. Uh, apart, if it is a tablet, sir, 
Yes, I mean, I'm asking for uh, EC, STDC, or END DTC is there, no? Mm -hmm. It's a span of five minutes only. If it's All a right. tablet. Let's say that I'm giving you two different tablets. I'm giving you the tablet. I, I suppose I asked you to take a five minutes gap between each tablet. See, because we are the one who is who is administering this particular study, right? Whatever mm -hmm. the instructions we want to give, we can give it. I can make totally three pills. All the three pills look alike, same, exactly same. Out of that, two pills are going to be having this composition of 50 mg, 50 mg. I can keep this in one container. The other pill, which is a placebo, I'll keep it in a different container. So while bringing it, I'll bring two pills from one container, container, another two pills from the different container. So let's say you, Sagar, you belongs to the placebo group, intervention group, sorry, control group. The container which has this one, I'll give you the two pills. I ask you to swallow one now, one after five minutes. Two done. Now, I belong to the control group, sorry, intervention group. They have given me the pills which are from the other uh, container. They asked me to swallow one now after five minutes, one more. So what, what is happening here? I'm actually swallowing the original pill, 650 mg, 650 mg. You are actually swallowing your fake pills with a duration of, with a gap of five minutes in between. Correct? I can okay. ask whatever I want. That's what okay, I'm trying sir. to say. Understood, understood. It is all about the administration, right? <laughs> mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any questions? All right. If there are no questions, we may stop the session here and we can discuss by tomorrow.